Hi friends, I thought I'd share with you a bit of a book review. Uh, this book has been out on loan to a friend and I've just got it back and I'm having a lovely time looking through it. So I thought I'd share with you this journal, this book on art journaling. I can recommend, I've got a list of books up on here in this corner. If you want to look at some more art journal books, if you're starting art journaling or if you're revisiting art journaling, have a look at that link up there and I'll show you quite a few art journal books to get you in inspired. I love this sort of thing for inspiration. So this book is by Jean Oliver, 24 projects for creating your visual narrative. And let's see when it was published. Oh, it's published by North Light Books. I like North Light Books. I can't see a date when it was published. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Sometimes they have them in the inside back cover, I don't know. Oh, here we are. 2018, so it's a few years old, but that's okay. Still relevant to these days. So it's got a bit of an introduction, some lovely photography, taught the usual tools and basic supplies. Let's flip through. I'm not going to spoil it in case you get this book. Here it says, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. And that's by Arthur Ashe, and that's good. Use what you have. You don't have to rush out and buy things. Unless you really have absolutely nothing. But just some basic supplies is enough to get you started. And some, it, she suggests where to start. And in her, in this one, she talks about gathering family photographs and interesting bits and pieces. And then she starts painting. But she says to start collecting story and then do like a mood board, which is a great idea to give you ideas. And here she talks about something I'm going to do a video on is using an altered book, an old book that's due to, due to go in the landfill, turning that into a journal. I'll be covering that at a later stage because it's a great and economical way to art journal and I love it. It's one of my favourites. And here is about how to make a portable kit. Lots of great, look at the photography. Oh, does that not get your juices flowing? Oh, that's so good, love it. And a bit of color swatching. That's a great way to fill a page actually. Using mark making, all sorts of tools. I love to use mark making in my journal pages. Textures and color. It's a very interesting book. And here's a quote here. Poetry is when an emotion has found its thought and when the thought has found words. That's by Robert Frost. And I love doing that. I love gathering words from various sources and I love making things up with all sorts of different words. I'll be doing a lot more of that this year. I just love the photograph. So you will find this quite inspiring. Whether you do what she does or not, you will still see some pictures and think, oh, I like that. See, she's used le ledger paper there. She's used a ledger, a whole ledger. That would be massive. And I just love this page. This is the one that's on the front page, but isn't that beautiful? And here's a nice quote again. Sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. And that's by Dr. Seuss. And I love that. And it's so true. And that's one of the beauties of having an art journal is recording these little bits of memory so you can always look back and remember them. Look at the textures on that page, love it. Or oh, look at those scrumptious bits of paper. So, I'm not going to show you the entire book, obviously, because, oh, she's done some lino printing there, I think. Maybe not, I'm not quite sure, I think so. So, lots of fabulous ideas. Yes, there's the lino print, isn't that great? So I can recommend this book amongst many others. I shall link down below as well to the other video I've done with some art journal books. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.